to me, there's something wrong with the hair on Brian Knobs looks better than the hair on the head of Missy Hyatt. Well, they just don't look very confident. You know, they took a heck of a beating three days ago from Cactus Jack and Max Payne, the two Valley parking attendants from the Spawn Ranch. I mean, they beat them all over the place. They fought back. They're full of world. See, they have, they have the advantage right here. They don't have to beat Bagwell and two cold scorpions. Over, baby. This is going down. That's right. They have to turn around and beat the nasty boys. Right. So all they got to do is blast the time limit. You know, I must say that Missy Hyatt not looking too darn good after she was kissed by Cactus Jack and by Max. What an exciting clash of the champions to replay this Friday, the 4th of February, 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Make sure Don't you miss it. You see Cactus Jack and Max Payne both kiss Missy Hyatt. I understand she had to go to the hospital and have industrial listerine pour down her. Or Jenner and a drum, I forget which one. Well, we'll, we'll find out. That was, of course, the debut of Bobby the Brain Heenan here at World Championship Wrestling. Enjoy that belt, Bagwell. You're only going to hold on to it for 10 more seconds. They held on to it for this one day. Belt, right here is what it's all about. And we're coming to give. Right here. To me, give, baby. Doing a lot of talking, aren't they? How did he get his hair so shiny? That's a do rag. Oh. Well, maybe it's some kind of moose. Smells like moose. Well, maybe it is. All right. The World Tag Team Championship is on the line. Missy Hyatt making her way out of the ring area. Yeah, that's a nice haircut if uh, you go to the uh, Mo Howard School of uh, Hairstyle. Yeah, you're not kidding. But she is an attractive lady. The fans behind two. Last time these two teams met, Halloween Havoc of 93 and in New Orleans the Nasty Boys regain the World Tag Team Championship and immediately the Nasty Boys start to brawl but two cold fires right back head first other side he hit wow. that time nose first this two cold Scorpio does move like no other wrestler I've ever seen. And I agree with that. He's the greatest high flyer I've ever seen. But I'll tell you something that's going to cut his career short, I bet. Well, you're right. You know, it takes a lot out of you as well as your opponent when you try what we've often called a high-risk maneuver, Bobby. Up on top. One count. Drop kick. Big slam. Uh-oh. Sags is hurt. Backflip. Oh, he lulled him into that one. He was playing possum. That's why they're tag team champions. <laughs> and Knobs in. Brian Knobs. They're not graceful, are they? They just go out there and maul you. Fans now, as we know, Super Brawl's around the corner. The announcement was made earlier in the Super Brawl Control Center that the Nasty Boys would defend the belts against the men they lost to at the Clash, Cactus and Max. However, if two Colt and Bagwell win this match, they will face Cactus and Max at Super Brawl on Sunday, February 20. Underneath to the midsection, caught nicely. Oh, and he ducked. And Knob showing some quickness as well. well. I think he got a signal from Stag. The Stag. Bag. Bagwell. Everybody's on the light. One, two, a two count. Shivani Okerin looks like an eye chunk. Drop Choho. You gotta keep the nasties down. They're too dangerous when they're up. They just, they just maul you. Uh-oh, we got an exchange without the benefit of a tag that time. And they were close enough to make a tag, so I'm sure Nick's going to allow that. I'm sure if that happened to the Nasties, you'd be yelling, Oh, Nick! 
Vic, come here. Go get the commish. No, I, I, I'm not like that. Drop kick. Andre kicked out. Fans, we want to remind you, the match with Flair and Vader has been postponed due to injuries to Ric Flair. The match scheduled for Super Brawl. Postponed until April. We got another switch. We will have comments from Vader still to come and hopefully comments from Ric Flair and an update on Flair's condition next Saturday night here on TBS. And tomorrow night on the 900 hotline number, I will tell everyone why I am no longer in the World Wrestling Federation. All right. In the midsection, hit first. Roll the number one, two. That hotline, by the way, begins at midnight tonight for Bobby the Brain Heater. Tag. Big hip toss. Bagwell. He's caught in the corner. It's where the nasty boys like to keep you in that corner. Well, that's good tag team wrestling. It sure is. It's basic. Oh, the momentum carried him to the other side. Right hand. Head first. And now. The youngster, Bagwell, pulling on his reserves here. Dropping down on the arm. Teddy Long on the outside. Missy Hyatt on the outside, encouraging their team. She can be nasty. She is nasty. Uh-oh. Better be careful, Teddy Long. She'll knock him out. Well, I don't trust her. She'll knock him out. He won't be in the house. He'll be in the hospital. The full arm dragon twist followed by a big elbow drop. Now, Sags, Bagwell holds his ground. Underneath, deep arm drag again. And he's not letting Sags up. Hooks that arm. Sit down. You know, he pulled his own teeth, you know. They were bothering when they pulled him out. These you, are tough guys. Jerry Sags pulled his own teeth? He'll pull yours if you like. He no, doesn't care. No, I'll pass on that. How's your gallbladder? He'll take that out. No, it doesn't sir. matter. No. Too cool. Oh, what hang time that time. By the man from Colorado. Too cold on the exchange. So far in this matchup, the Nasty Boys have attempted to brawl. Too Cold and Bagwell have attempted to wrestle. Been basically a stalemate. Neither team with much of an advantage here. Great drop to hold. Boy, what a great Super Bowl weekend this is going to be. I mean, three days ago, the clash. We got a title match right here. My hotline tonight after midnight. Main event tomorrow. This is great. Oh, the main event's on tomorrow. That's right. Andy Griffith's on tomorrow. That's right. Opie's going to make sure that boy's not peeping windows anymore. Full arm dragon twist. Into the ropes. He caught him in midair. He tried a high risk maneuver. Oh, oh my God. Wait a minute. He hit the apron. That should have been a disqualification. Oh, he could have kidney damage. You're right. Slam down. Two calls hurting. He is, he's hurt bad. I know, and Missy Hyatt is choking two cold Scorpio. Oh, I thought she was trying to help him up. Where's the referee? Oh. He's with Teddy Long. And he's manager of the year. His team don't even have a title. He's manager of the year. As voted on the wrestling hotline. Last Harley year. Race should be manager of the year. Or uh, Missy Hyatt, manager of the year. Meanwhile, two cold Scorpio, the high flyer has been grounded. A two count. He's out of it reaching the wrong way to the neutral corner. Well, he could have been paralyzed. You're right, he's in a lot of pain, obviously. See, his adrenaline's going right now. I mean, it's flowing inside of him. He'll feel bad tomorrow. 
Whoa, and they knock him for a loop. What a matchup. He won't be walking straight tomorrow. No, not at all. They continue to the Nasty Boys, the pressure on a two-cold Scorpio. He's close, but not close enough to his partner Bagwell, and he desperately needs a tag. And probably the strong suit, the best weapon of Tukold and Bagwell has been taken away. But look at Tukold strap back to his feet to stay in this matchup. Field goal, three points. He's dazed, he can barely stand. Just dangling there. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what's lucky for Scorpio is. Well, the Larry. Knob, the Knobs threw him over. He didn't notice that his back hit the apron. If they knew that right now, they'd be working on the back. I guarantee you. Scorpio's but, lucky. You're, that's a good point. That's a good point because they are working on the upper body, the chest, and the head region. One, two. And Scorpio's back has got to be hurting. Maybe him and Flair can get a deal on back surgery. Well, we'll have to see if Flair needs surgery or not. The abdominal stretch. Now, this works on the, the abdominals and the back as well, Bob. That's right. But see, Nob has to hook his foot there around Scorpio's foot, apply the pressure, and then hold on to the rope. Oh, he's holding on the sack. That's good. That's good? Oh, it's just the balance. For balance? Well, you can't stand on one leg too long. Are you flamingo? And no tag made on that end. Kenny Long in to tell the referee. Meanwhile, the pain on the face is too cold. Excruciating pain here. Throw the towel in, Teddy. It's over. No, he's not going to do that. See, but that's not a good move either. Maybe he's got an investment down the line. They could be permanently damaged. It's over. This way, there'll always be another day. That's true. Can he get to the corner? And once again, for balance, as Bobby the Brain tells us. Oh, my. Bagwell's had enough. Marcus Bagwell. He snapped. Meanwhile, Scorpio's got him rolled up in the ring. He's got him in the ring. The small package. Missy Hyatt almost got her team disqualified. Well, wait till the commission, Matt. She'll be fine. And well, she should have. She didn't do nothing. She's going to go ahead and give him mouth-to-mouth -mouth restitution. The headbutt was a little bit high. It was not a low blow, and Nick Patrick, it was a headbutt to the midsection. That, therefore, the blow was legal. But it still hurt. And Tuco continues to fight back in this tag team title matchup. No tag. No tag was made. And he rolls him to the center. One, two, and no set. No set. Wow, he was three inches away. The youngster is still in this one. He doesn't Miss even know why he's kicking out, I bet. That's right. Missy Hyatt complaining to no avail. Grab a leg and make a wish. Again, three inches away from the end of the match. But two Colt Scorpio stays with us. How much more can he take? You're in the corner with the World Tag Team Champions and their challenge. Whoa! Look at this reserve. One, two. Nobs gets away. Quickly makes the tag. Can Scorpio get over? No. Wow, what a beating he's taken, Bobby Heenan. What a tag match has it become. Oh, he was so close, he didn't make the tag, though. How long has he been in there now? He's been in there over five, six, seven minutes, I well, think. After seven minutes, every bit of seven minutes in this. It's been seven minutes of brutality. Ever since he was dumped on the outside and hit on the apron hard, he has been out of it. But he has stayed in the match. He is to his feet. Bagwell encouraging his partner to make the tag. And he does. Now Marcus Bagwell. 
trying to regain the title. Whoa! Look at this youngster go on adrenaline by. Well, he's fresh. He's fresh. Just don't make a mistake and you got the belt. That's right. Big shoulder. Cover. Pulled away. We got all four going at it. Scorpio back in. Incredible. There what are your legal men. Power slam. He's got him. He's got him. Referee needs to turn around. Uh-oh. The leg drop on the back of the head. One. Scorpio makes the save. Oh, my. A high risk move, too. He's going after Seth. What a world title match we got on TBS. He hit the bridge suplex. The referee keeping Missy Hyatt down. Kenny Rollins got Missy Hyatt. Look at the boots. And the boot on Bagwell. One, two, three, it's over. It's over. Wow. What happened? Who was legal? Who is it? The legal man was Brian Knob. And justice has prevailed. It has? It hasn't? They won the match. Kenny Long complained to the referee. It was a tough job for Nick Patrick to keep everyone in line again. Look at this. Kenny Long has no business putting his hands on Misty Hyatt. No business at all. Look, at he's keeping her. Oh, I don't like this. Let's go to Mean Gino. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. Slap him. Kick him. Rip it. 